we're doing more art books. This one is called Modern Painting in England by Mary Chamot. This one cost $3.99. This is the only one I had from Oxfam with a compliment slip. And it's from Chipping Norton, where David Cameron is the new, the new Lord. So I guess they think they need to put a compliment slip in. Um, $3.99, no post. So this book here is a linen cover. It's a giveaway, but it's an old book. And it has some interesting bits of paper in, inside it, which I'll look at later. Modern painting in England, 1937. That's, that's, this is really the interesting thing. Picasso first exhibited England in the 20s. This, this is dated 1937, which is before the Second World War. And since this was called, titled Modern Paintings, there's another load of modern, modern paintings made after this book was written. So it's interesting to see what people in 1937 thought, thought of as modern paintings. And this book does have some very good plates in it. And um, it goes through all the artists we would expect it to sit, contain. Uh, ben Nicholson, Whistler, Sargent, I have not heard a lot of them, I must be honest. Augustus John. It was rated by one of the main living English artists in Mallorca, who has a gallery there. I was there two, three years ago, and I said to him, tell me who the best artist is, your favorite artist. He said, Augustus John. But to me, all these pictures in this book look old, look old pictures to me. But for four pounds, I think it's a remarkable value. So John Lavery, everyone's heard of. Oravida, never heard of him or her. Proctor, Rushbury, Connard, West, Newton. So, so it's, it's, I'm obviously learning a lot here about what people thought of as modern art. This is a Julian Trevelyan, and it has the lines in it, which you see in some of the Nicholson work and the, and, and the Trevelyan scaffolding work. This one is called, I can't tell you, can move, oh I can, Brittany Dancing Sailors, Christopher Wood. So because it was written a long time ago, it contains things I, don't, I wouldn't have expected to see, so I'll have to look at that at another time. Okay, we're going to quickly go on to another one. This is called The Moderns and Their World. This one came from Oxfam. And uh, it's one cost £3.59, £3.59. With no post charge. And this one is lovely, I had a quick look earlier on. It's a big book again, large format sort of book. Linen, so it's, it's, a, it's a winner, you can tell. Um, 1957. With an with introduction by the director of the Tate Gallery. Lovely large text. And before too long, it goes straight into some really lovely, lovely pictures. And the, the quality of the printing is, is high. Each page is 
title with the artist. So you haven't got to drag, sort of look backwards and forwards to find out who did it. So we've got Suzanne, we've got Suzanne. Van Gogh, Van Gogh. Bonnar, Bonnar. And a variety of French ones, certainly at the beginning. Going through Matisse. Doofy. Beautiful stuff. Still more French stuff. This is a Legere, which is like that one there. Not many people know about Legere. Gino Severini, Umberto Boccioni. So it's gone from French stuff to Italian stuff. Paul Klee. Kandinsky. Mondrian. Nicholson. Miro. With, to me, there is... Um, Bosch in there. Hieronymus Bosch from 500 years before. This is so sort of surrealist stuff. Ernst Dali or Dali. Um, lovely. That is a lovely book. For four pounds, for under four pounds, it's amazing. Next one. I haven't seen this one yet. This costs 20 pounds. Linen, titled Abstract Art, it's been in a library or a collection because the label's been ripped out of it. Abstract Painting, Background and American Phase, printed in New York in 1951. So, Gorky, Toby, Kooning, Pollock. And it goes back in time to the Middle Ages and talks about the early, early painters, Titian, George Black, Mark, Chagall. So, Matisse. So, so it's a, a very interesting resource showing the opinions from 19... fifty, whatever it was, 1951, Mondrian. So the same names popping up, Nicholson, Picasso, Miro, Van Gogh, Munch, Kandinsky, Matisse, Klee. I think it would be hard to look at this book and not get something out of it. Pour it again. It takes time for it all to sort of permeate in, but Rothko, I've not seen many Rothkos with that much detail in. So I think that's, a, that's a, a nice book as well. We'll just finish on one sundry book which came at the same time. This cost four pounds, three ninety nine. It's an Egyptian book. I, I thought it was going to be a very big book, so I was a little disappointed. It's a little tiddler. I bought it because I thought it was a good buy. Um, it is a it is a book. Um, with some lovely pictures in and it talks about ancient Egypt and the Egyptian stuff influenced 
the, reg the Regency stuff in England and the Federal stuff in America and the Empire stuff in Europe. So it's, it's quite interesting to look, look at it. I think it's fasc fascinating. Wonderful stuff. Okay, so we've had a look at what's come in yesterday. Hopefully that's been interesting. Thank you.